Hi guys, welcome back to HowMachineWorks.com. Today let's learn how regenerative braking works, how exactly it saves kinetic energy and how it is different from conventional braking. Watch the entire video and learn it. Regenerative braking are only used in hybrid vehicles and electric vehicles. So what is regenerative braking? It is that technology which is used to recoup the energy which is lost during a conventional braking system. As you know, in conventional automobiles, when we apply brake, uh, the brake part comes in contact with the tires and there is a friction and heat energy is created and there is loss of kinetic energy is also happening as heat energy and it expels to the environment. So there is a loss of energy that means a loss of HP is happening. But regenerative braking uses the technology to use this heat energy or use this kinetic energy to be converted and stored as electric energy. So now let's see how it's been done. So this is a block diagram of the powertrain. So here we have the engine, then we have the flywheel, then comes the uh, electric motor or the generator, then the power transfer to the rear axle. And here this is a differential and here we have a battery. In normal conventional vehicles, when we apply the brake, when we press the brake pedal, the brake pad comes in contact with the tires. Heat generation is happening because of the kinetic energy loss and this heat expels to the environment and that energy is being lost. But in regenerative braking system, it's used in hybrid vehicles or electric vehicles. So normally when it works, the drive is getting towards the rear axle. But when we step on the brake pedal, what happens is that this is a motor over here. This motor switches to the generator mode. That means in normal mode when it is running, if it is rotating in clockwise direction, say the drive is getting here and the tires are also rotating. But when a brake is applied, when I step on the brake pedal, what happens is that the direction of rotation changes over here like this. That means the motor becomes a generator. So when the motor changes its direction, that means the motor becomes a generator, the rotation of the direction of the motor changes. So that torque created by the reversal of the motor to a generator slows down the vehicle or creating the braking effort. This generator will use the kinetic energy while the braking effort is happening and convert that into electric energy and stores inside the battery. But this technology is not used when a fast drive is happening. This is only happening on a stop and go or a slow braking system only. When we are in a city drive or when we are driving very slowly, stopping the vehicle and releasing it and stopping and releasing. At that point of time only, regenerative braking comes into play where the motor change changes into a generator so the rotation changes. That resistance actually slows down the vehicle and creates a braking effort. But in other case, when the vehicle is going much faster, uh, this regenerative braking actually with the help of the normal friction braking comes into play to stop the vehicle. So in high speed, the friction braking itself comes to play to stop the vehicle. But in slow speed or in stop and go situations in a city drive, the regenerative brake uses the kinetic energy, converts into electric energy and stores in the battery so that it can be reused. So to be simply summarized, this electric motor can create braking torque because the rotation is changing. If you say if it is rotating like this in clockwise direction, when suddenly it starts to rotate in anti-clockwise direction, what happens is that uh, there is a resistance to the powertrain and as a result of that resistance, a torque or braking torque is happening to the system or the powertrain which slows down the axle. That's how regenerative braking simply works and it stores the wasted kinetic energy and keeps it inside the battery so that it can power the automobile again. So reuse of the energy can be made possible with a regenerative braking system. So we believe you have learned what is regenerative braking. For more such videos, please click the subscribe button so that update comes to your inbox. You can click the like button, do drop a comment or share this in social media uh, to motivate our team. Uh, you can also visit our website or our YouTube channel for more technical videos. Thanks for watching this video. Have a great day.